Hello, my name is Darcy and I am a structures engineer on the Takatimi North Link project. I will be taking you through what is happening on the project and what we will be starting next. Starting at 15th Avenue, we are currently constructing a 120 metre long soil nail wall which is 7 metres high at its highest point. This wall is required for the widening needed to construct the new 15th Avenue bridge. Piling for the bridge will begin shortly. This is a 100 metre single lane bridge that will connect 15th Avenue to the State Highway 29 toll road. The piles for this bridge are a combination of both driven and board piles. Moving down to State Highway 29, the southbound traffic lane has been shifted to allow for the construction of the southbound widening works. Once this is completed, traffic will again be shifted to allow for construction of the northbound lanes. The southbound bypass lane is also in progress. This allows traffic to avoid the future interchange if you are travelling from Tauranga City to Tauriko. We have now completed all of the piling and substructure works on the Takatimu flyover which is a 363 metre long bridge. In early April, the remaining Super T beams will be placed. We are currently busy with deck construction and are aiming to complete the bridge late this year. Once complete, we will be diverting traffic onto the flyover bridge and the southbound bypass lane. This is to create room for the team to start construction of the new roundabout on State Highway 29. Now, we will be flying westwards over the new Takatimu Northlink main alignment. At full 16, the reinforced soil slope retaining wall has been surcharged and is now settling. Once this is complete, the remaining panels can be placed. In fill 15, we have completed the installation of culvert 15, which allows the western side of the fill to continue. Here at Smith's Farm Bridge, the MEC walls are complete and have been surcharged which allows the abutment work to begin. New Tauranga City Council bulk water mains are to be installed in the first half of the year. At fill 13, the tallest fill on the project, we have approximately four metres of fill to add before we reach our design level. Moving on to Cambridge Road Bridge, we have now reached a large milestone on the project. Having cut underneath the bridge gives us access to bring material from the west side of the project to the east side. Coming down to fill 10, we're continuing on the deepest side of the fill, which has another seven metres to come up to design level. At the Wairoa River Bridge, we have now completed all of the piling. The next step is to install the remaining girders and complete the deck construction. Fill 9 is the first of the major fills that has reached design levels. At Whitehall Road Overbridge, our team are easily able to move underneath Whitehall Road to bring material through to the east. Next is the largest cut on the project, Cut 8, which is progressing well. As part of this deep cut, we are installing horizontal bore drains to manage water levels, which will be finished later this year. We have 80,000 cubes of material left to be removed, nearing the design level of the area. In Tamiti Valley, Culvert 5 has been completed and Culvert 4 is well underway and will be completed by May. At Tamiti, we have started the first of our main alignment pavement trials, which will give us information required to start constructing the rest of the pavements on the project. Up next, we have Minden Gully, which is made up of three bridge structures that sit 25 metres above the gully floor. The off-ramp is now complete, which has allowed us to haul material from the western tie-in to our fills in the east. The mainline and on-ramp have both had their girders installed and deck construction is underway. Minden Road Overbridge is also complete and traffic is now using the bridge. The team are well into construction of the Minden Road Interchange, which consists of two roundabouts. This is aiming for completion in the middle of this year. With the traffic now on the new bridge, this has allowed us to cut underneath Minden Road. At the western end of the project, 
we are progressing well with the remainder of the earthworks, stream diversions and environmental controls. The Autoru culvert walls have been constructed and most of the deck beams have been placed. Yep. The culvert will allow water to flow from the south of the new alignment to the north and is approximately 30 metres wide and 20 metres long. Thank you for joining us for this flyover video. We hope to update you with more progress soon.